Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a 60 minute level two, three balancing flow. So we do a lot of strength building work. Um, and I am a little bit sick, so I'm a little bit of a space cadet and I apologize in advance. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. We are gonna get started today in a tabletop position. Starting in your tabletop position, ground your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. As you inhale, reach the sternum forward, drop the belly, reach the tail to the sky, cow belly breath. And then as you exhale, roll through the spine, come into your cat. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale into your cat. Three more here. Come into a neutral spine, tuck under your toes, ground down through your hands, take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, you'll hover your knees off the mat, coming into your bear pose. Take another inhale here. As you exhale, you're just going to straighten the legs, press the floor away, coming to your shortened downward dog. And then as you inhale, shift back forward, come into your bear pose, knees hover. As you exhale, press it away, downward facing dog. And then as you inhale, come back to your bear pose. We'll do three more like this. On your next inhale, come into your bear pose. Keep your bear. You're going to lift your right foot to hover. Make sure your knees stay in line with each other. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press back. Straighten the right leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog. Take an inhale. As you exhale, maybe you start to play around with coming up onto the left fingertips. And maybe the right, uh, sorry, the left fingertips can reach towards the back of the room. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, left hand finds the floor. Come back into your single leg bear. On your next inhale, you'll lift up into your three or two legged dog. And then as you exhale, set the left hand down, come back into your bear. We'll do three more like this. Set the left hand down, set the right hand, uh, set the right foot down, and then hover the left foot in your single leg bear. Make sure your knees are in line. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll send it back into your three legged dog, maybe coming up onto right fingertips, maybe seeing if you can reach the right hand towards the back of the room. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. You'll shift forward, coming into your single leg bear. Set your right hand down, and then on your inhale, you'll press it back, reach the right arm back two-legged dog and then inhale come forward into your single leg bear and then press it back into your um, dog shape <laughs> we'll take three more You'll come back into your bear, set the left foot down, take an inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot back and then the left foot back, we've landed in our high plank pose. We'll take several rounds of breath here, engage through your legs, draw the heels of your hands towards your toes, send energy out through the crown of your head and draw your ears away from your shoulders. Keeping your feet hips distance apart, you're going to swivel your heels over to the left. Bring your right arm up to the sky. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to bring your left knee and your right elbow towards each other. So bottom leg, top arm. 
and then inhale, lengthen it out. Exhale, bottom knee, top arm. Inhale, lengthen it out. We'll just do three more. Inhale into your side plank, and then as you exhale, come through center. Feet hips distance apart, swivel the heels over to the right. Inhale, sweep your left arm up and overhead. As you exhale, ground down through your left foot so you can bring your right knee in towards your chest. Meet it with your left elbow. Inhale, back into your side plank. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, lengthen it out. Three more here. Inhale into your side plank, exhale into your down dog. We'll come into our first chaturanga as you inhale, shift forward, lower the knees if you need to, as you exhale, lower down halfway. Make sure that your shoulders aren't lower than your elbows. You can walk your toes up a little bit. Think of drawing the heels of the hands towards the toes. Get all the ants off you. Take three more breaths, lift your hips. And then you'll press the floor away, high plank, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of your mat. You'll take baby steps of your feet all the way to the backs of your hands. Inhale, coming to a halfway lift and lengthen. And then as you exhale, forward fold. A generous bend in the knees as you start to roll up the length of your spine. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up at the top. Maybe look up. Exhale, swan dive forward. forward. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back, high plank pose. Keep your high plank. You're just going to inhale, let your left knee bend so it hovers above the mat. And then exhale, straighten it. Inhale, let your right knee bend. And then exhale, straighten it. And then you'll inhale, let both knees bend just so they hover above the mat. Exhale, straighten. Inhale right, exhale straighten, inhale left, exhale straighten, inhale both, exhale straighten. We'll go through three more rounds just like this. One more round. forward shift forward chaturanga inhale back to plank exhale downward dog once again keep your legs fairly straight as you take little baby steps all the way to the top of the mat get a nice big stretch in through those hamstrings inhale halfway lift and lengthen exhale forward fold a generous bend in the knees start to roll up the length of your spine inhale come all the way to stand sweep the arms up exhale fold forward Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back, high plank pose. So we're going to take little leg lifts. So take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to float your right leg off, but don't shift in through your pelvis. And then inhale slowly with control, set it down. Exhale, float your left leg off. Nothing else in your body changes. Inhale, slowly set it down. Exhale, the right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, the left. Inhale, set it down. We'll go for three more on each side, nice and slow. We're going to keep this slow little march of our feet. We're going to start to shift forward and lower down into Chaturanga for six, five, Four, three, two, one. We'll bring it up for six, five, four, three, two, one. And then shift it all the way back, downward facing dog. One more time, we're going to take baby steps of the feet all the way to the back of the wrists. Inhale, coming to a halfway lift and length. Oh my God, the ants are so bad today. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. Generous bend in the knees, roll up the spine. Inhale at the top. Exhale, fold it forward. 
Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back, high plank pose. Last little variation that we're going to do here, we're going to take shoulder taps. So you ground down through your left palm, draw your right hip down slightly, tap your right fingertips to your left shoulder. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left fingertips, right shoulder. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, tap the right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, tap the left. Inhale, set it down. We'll do three more each side. Come back to your plank pose. We're going to start a little tap out with our feet. So you'll tap the right foot out to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale left. Inhale center. Right. Center. Left. Center. Keep this going. You're going to start to shift yourself forward. Lower down into your chaturanga for six. For five. For four. Three. Two. One. Press it away for six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Send your hips all the way up and back. Downward facing dog. Look to the top of your mat. This time step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fully fold. Hey, short bus. Inhale, come all the way to standing. We'll flow it out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step, walk, or float. Chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, downward dog, bend the knees, step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come up, raise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog, bend the knees, step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, fold it down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog, bend the knees, step walk or float to the top. Two more rounds. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Step walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. One more round. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, your vinyasa. Look to the top. Step walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, send the hips back. Reach the arms forward. Chair pose. Make sure you can see your toes. If your knees are apart, your if your feet are apart, your knees are apart. And take several more deep breaths here. You're going to drop your hands down in line with your shoulders. Reach your arms directly forward. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, ground down through your left foot. Draw your right knee in towards your chest, but keep your chair. So single leg chair. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, left knee up into the chest. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift the right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, lift the left. Inhale, set it down. So you can take your hands to your hips here. You want to try and keep your hip points facing forward the whole time. And you want to feel like you're not just dropping out through one side of your pelvis when you lift the opposite leg. So nice and slow, controlled, using our whole lower body. You do two more on each side. Inhale, come into your chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step back, high plank pose. You're going to ground down through your left palm, swivel your heels to your left. Try not to hit the dog lying at the bottom of your mat. You can stack or sag your feet coming into your side plank. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to float your right leg up. As you inhale, you're going to bring your toes up towards your face. So now you're 
mat is hovering above the, your foot is hovering above the long end of your mat. As you inhale, so you can tap your inner edge of your foot to the floor and then exhale, lift it up. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, lift it up. Just three more. Keep that foot hovering. Send it back over the left. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, set it down. Inhale, reach that right arm tall. As you exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left rib cage. And then inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open it up. Three more here. Inhale, come into your side plank. As you exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back to plank. And then as you exhale, ground down through the right palm. Swivel your heels to the right. Stack or stagger your feet. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you'll float your left leg up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, start to bring your toes up towards your face. Inhale, tap the inner edge of the foot to the floor. Exhale, pick it up. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, pick it up. Three more. Send your left leg back out to hover over the right. Take an inhale. As you exhale, set it down. Inhale here, reach tall. As you exhale, send the left arm underneath the right rib cage. Thread the needle. And then inhale, open it up. We've got four more here. Inhale into your side plank as you exhale, come down, chaturanga. Inhale into your plank, exhale into your downward facing dog. Take a nice deep inhale in your downward facing dog. As you exhale, you're going to send your right leg up towards the sky. We're going to play with something that we sort of did at the start. You could stay here or you can start to float your left hand off the mat. Maybe it reaches to the wall behind you. Take an inhale. As you exhale with your hand up or down, you're going to shift forward, see if you can tap your right knee to your right elbow, and then inhale, send it back into your dog variation. As you exhale, shift forward, see if you can tap right knee, right elbow, and then inhale, bring it back. We're just going to do three more. You'll send it back, set the left hand down, set the right hand down into your, um, into your downward facing dog. You'll float your left leg up on your inhale. And then maybe as you exhale, you can float that right hand back behind you or just hover it above the mat. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to shift forward. See so if you can tap your left knee to your left elbow. And then inhale, bring it back. Got four more here. You're going to come back into your downward facing dog, look towards the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knees, send the hips back, chair pose. As you exhale, keep your chair, but bring your right knee into your chest. This time, you're going to see if you can take your hands around your right shin, sink your hips a little bit lower, but set your chest up a little bit taller. You could stay here or maybe you can get the hands around the sole of the foot, start to extend that foot forward as you start to bring the hips back further. It's like a high pistol squat. And then slowly with control, you'll set that right foot back down, take an inhale. Oh, this is like an army of ants in my water bottle. Good, good. As you exhale, 
you're gonna draw your left knee in towards your chest I'm not even kidding you it's like 50 ants on my water bottle and then you're gonna hug that left knee in towards your chest and send your hips back it's pretty much just like an analogy of my life right now it's just like a massive dumpster fire of shit that's okay here we are you could stay here or you could bring your hands around the sole of your left foot start to extend that foot forward as you bring your chest up higher you'll set your left foot down inhale come into your chair pose and then as you exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift and lengthen and then as you exhale you'll step walk or float take it back through your muscle and i'm now paranoid that there's a bunch of ants inside my water bottle <laughs> inhale you'll sweep your right leg up towards the sky and then as you exhale you'll step it all the way through inhale we're coming up into our crescent lunge and we're just going to hold draw your right hip back a little bit bend your left knee as much as you need to to be able to square your hips off to the front and just have a nice and neutral pelvis so you're not sticking your butt out you're not tucking it under you it's just nice and neutral you take one more inhale as you exhale hands will find the floor flip that right leg back behind you listen carefully take an inhale as you exhale you're going to float your right leg behind you like you're coming to wild thing except don't step your foot down so we're kind of hovering with our right knee facing either towards the back of the room or up towards the sky in a side plank variation take an inhale here as you exhale you're going to crunch top knee to top elbow inhale you'll send that right foot back behind you exhale top knee top elbow inhale send it back behind you we've got three more okay you're taking inhale you're going to keep that right leg floating as you exhale you're going to set your right hand down we're coming over to the other side so the inside edge of the left foot will find the floor and you'll shoot your right leg through like a fallen triangle as you inhale, you're going to bend your left knee, send your hips back to your heels, and then exhale, bring it back. Inhale, bend the knee, send the hips to the heel, and then exhale, bring it back up. Just three more here. Keep your right leg floating as you inhale, come into your three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, we're going to do a dive bomber. So you're going to lead with your chest as you bend your elbows. You're going to come down really close to the floor, come into a low, low chaturanga. Press all the way back up to plank, downward facing dog. So normally we'd come into an up dog from there, but I'm going to challenge your strength a little bit and come to chaturanga. As you inhale, you'll sweep your left leg up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you'll step it all the way through. Inhale, bring yourself all the way up. Crescent lunge. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, hands will find the floor. Left leg will float back behind you. Press down through your right hand. Your left toes will drip behind you. So they're just hovering over the floor as if you're coming to a wild thing, but you're not. Take an inhale, reach that left arm overhead. As you exhale, connect the knee and the elbow. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, crunch. Three more. Inhale, come into your side plank. As you exhale, you're going to shoot that left leg underneath you, coming into your floating fallen triangle. As you inhale, bend the right knee, send the hips back to the heel. And then as you exhale, come back forward. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, bring it forward. We've got three more.
take the right hand down, inhale, come into your three-legged dog. And then as you exhale, you're going to bend the elbows, dive the chest down towards the floor, come into your chaturanga, press it up to high plank, and then downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, step, walk, or float, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, come straight back down. Inhale, single leg plank. As you exhale, drip the right toes behind. Inhale, reach the right arm overhead. Exhale, crunch top knee to top elbow. Inhale, reach it long side plank. As you exhale, shoot it through, floating fall and triangle. Take an inhale. As you exhale, send the hips to the heel. Inhale, floating fall and triangle. As you exhale, we're going to come straight to a single leg chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, climb the hands. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, drip the left toes behind. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, crunch knee to elbow. Inhale, reach it long inside plank. Exhale, kick the left leg through. Inhale here, floating fall and triangle. Exhale, bend the right knee, hips to heel. Inhale, floating fall and triangle. Exhale, single leg chaturanga. Look towards the top of your mat, step, walk or float. We'll do that a couple more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, drip those right toes behind you. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, crunch, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, shoot it through, fall and triangle. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, chaturanga. I know that was a different breath pattern than last time. It's okay. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, drip the toes behind. Inhale, reach the left arm. Exhale, crunch, knee to elbow. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, shoot it through, fall and triangle. Inhale, hips to heel. Exhale, fall and triangle. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, down dog. We'll go one more time. Look to the top. Step, hook or float. Inhale, length. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or float, vinyasa. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, drip those toes behind. Inhale, sweep the right arm. Exhale, crunch, knee to elbow. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, floating fall and triangle. Inhale, hips to heel. Exhale, fall and triangle. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Plank, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, drip the toes behind. Inhale, reach the arm. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, shoot the leg through. Inhale, hips to heel. Exhale, fall and triangle. Inhale, single leg plank. Through your vinyasa. Look to the top of your mat. Step, walk, or flip. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come into your chair pose. Once again, you're going to hug the right knee into the chest. So you could stay here. Otherwise, you're going to take your hands 
back around the sole of the right foot. We're going to see if we can bring it all the way down to the floor, whichever variation you are. So keep sending the hips back, chest forward, foot forward, come down into a pistol squat. See if you can hover your hips above the floor. And then we're all going to drop down into like a little scissor navasana. So your left leg is going to hover above the floor and then you're going to let go of your right leg and see if you can keep the height. Hands can go wherever is best for you. You're going to inhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch. We're going to do five more. last one and then you're going to draw your knees in towards your chest you're going to come all the way down onto your back take a nice deep inhale we're going to take one rock and roll along the spine to make our way back into um chair pose so roll along the spine plant your feet come all the way back into your chair pose oh that was a bad idea for my stomach you can ground down to your right foot bring your left knee in towards your chest same thing, you could just hug around the shin, otherwise hands find the sole of the foot, send the foot forward, send the hips back, and then we're going to sink ourselves all the way down so we keep sinking lower, lower, lower. See if you can get your pistol squat, stick it at the bottom, and then whoo, hips find the floor. This time you're going to take your peace fingers, you're going to hook them around your big toes, you're going to rock back off your sit bones, and then you're going to extend your legs out in front of you. So sit nice and tall through your spine. Your knees could be very, very bent here, and this might be where you stay. Otherwise, we're going to go one leg at a time. As you inhale, you're going to open your right leg out to the right, but you're trying not to move your left leg. And then as you exhale, you'll bring it back to center. As you inhale, you'll open your left leg out to the left. Try not to move your right. And then you'll exhale, bring it back through center. Inhale, move the right. Exhale it through center. Inhale, move the left. Exhale it through center. We'll do two more on each side. And then you hug your knees in towards your chest. We're going to take one rocker along the spine to make our way back to chair pose. Oof. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming to your halfway lift and lengthen. And then as you exhale, step walk or float, make your way through your vinyasa back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, you'll sweep your right leg up towards the sky. And as you exhale, step it through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, you're going to keep a bend in the right knee. You're going to step your left leg forward and hug it over your left leg coming into, sorry, over your right leg coming into eagle legs. And then your left arm will come underneath your right, completing your eagle at the top of your mat. You're going to keep your arms. You're going to unravel your legs. We're going to make our way into warrior three. So start to tilt yourself forward at the hips. Keep your eagle arms. Draw your right hip back slightly. Gentle bend in the right knee. And really engage through the back of your left leg. You're going to take an inhale here. And take an exhale. As you inhale, you're going to tuck your left knee behind your right, coming into your Shiva squat. And then as you exhale, come back into your warrior three. Inhale, tuck it in, Shiva squat. And then as you exhale, warrior three. We'll do three more here. You'll come into your warrior three. Unravel your hands. Hands find the floor. We're going to take a spirit hop to the back of the mat. So plant your hands. Bend your right knee. Hop your right foot to the back of the mat. And then with or without a vinyasa, make your way to downward facing dog. Cool. On your next inhale, you'll sweep your left leg up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, step it all the way through. 
as you inhale come all the way up crescent lunge keep a bend in through your left knee you're going to bring your right leg forward and over your left leg coming into your eagle legs and then your right arm will come underneath your left completing your eagle You're going to keep your eagle arms. You're going to unravel your legs and make your way into your warrior three. Set up your foundation here. Take a nice deep inhale. Take a nice deep exhale. On your next inhale, you'll tuck your right knee behind your left coming into your Shiva squat. And then as you exhale, you'll straighten it out. Inhale, tuck it in. Exhale, straighten it out. We'll do four more here. unravel your arms hands find the floor standing split briefly and then you'll give a big spirit hop to the back of the mat take it through your vinyasa we need in downward facing dog look towards the top of your mat step walk or foot inhale halfway lift and lengthen exhale forward fold inhale you're going to come all the way to standing this time bring your right knee with you single leg mountain pose take an inhale hands are reaching up and overhead if you can as you exhale you're going to extend your right knee out in front of you inhale bend it back in exhale extend that knee out in front of you inhale bend it back in we're going to take three more here From here, we're going to transition once again into our pistol squat. So if you can do this without holding onto your foot, go for it. I'm going to try it. I don't know if I can do it. Otherwise, you you can find your right foot with your hand or piece fingers around the big toe, which is where I think I'm actually going to go. You'll send your hips back, chest forward, hips back, chest forward. See if you can stick the landing at the bottom. And then we're going to lower all the way down onto our hips. You're going to plant your hands behind you. We're going to find a little reverse tabletop. So fingertips face whatever direction is best for you. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, you're going to lift your hips up. Reach your sternum through the gateway of your arms. And then inhale, you'll tap your hips down. Exhale, lift it up. Squeeze your glutes. And then inhale, tap it back down. We'll do three more like this and we'll add. So you can stay just like this, or we're going to add a little march. So as you exhale, you'll press through your right foot. Your left leg is floating in a tabletop as you come up. And then you'll inhale, set it down, switch the feet. Exhale, press up just on your left leg. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, press up on your right. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, press up on your left. Inhale, set it down. We'll do three more on each side. What you're looking for here is if you take a peek down at your pelvis, your hips are nice and even from side to side. So you're not just dropping one side of your pelvis or rolling to one side. One more each side. You'll set your hips down. We'll take one roll along the spine to get us back to chair pose. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, come all the way to standing. Bring your left knee in towards your chest. Take an inhale here. Stand nice and tall. As you exhale, you'll extend your left leg out in front of you. Inhale, bend it. Exhale to extend. Inhale to bend. Just three more here. You'll keep your left leg extended. We're going to find our pistol squat. So take whatever variation is working for you. Nice and slow. Hips back, chest forward, hips back, chest forward. Get into your ankle. Find your balance at the bottom. And then drop your hips to the floor. And we're going to add on to that little tabletop sequence. So plant your hands behind you again. We'll start with the single leg. So take an inhale. As you exhale, press through your left foot. Lift your hips up. Right leg's in a tabletop. 
Inhale, set it down. Exhale, press through right foot, left leg, tabletop. Inhale, set it down. One more like this on each side. You can stay here, otherwise we're gonna add opposite hand to opposite knee. So as you lift your right leg, you'll tap your left hand to your right knee. Inhale, set it down. And then as you exhale, you'll tap your right hand to your left knee. Inhale, set it down. If you wanted to, you could extend the leg and go for a toe tap instead. Go for good. We'll take three more on each side. And then you'll plant your hips. We'll take one roll along the spine to get us back to chair pose. Hold your chair pose. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. And then as you exhale, you're going to step it back. High plank pose. We're going to come down onto our forearms. So right forearm down, left forearm down, low plank. We're just going to hold this first one. Draw your toes and your elbows towards each other. Gaze is down, neck is neutral. And then you're going to angle your left forearm in, swivel to the side, left baby Vashistasana. As you inhale, you're going to dip your left hip to the floor, exhale, pick it up. Inhale, dip it, exhale, pick it up. What I want you to look for here is that your pelvis is like it's sliding against the wall. So you're not rolling yourself forward or back. It's just like you're between two planes of glass here. we got one more. Plant your right forearm down. We're going to take it straight to the other side. Establish your side plank. And then when you're ready, you'll inhale, dip that right hip down. Try not to rotate. And then exhale, pick it up. Inhale, dip it down. Exhale, pick it up. We'll go for six more. You'll transition back into your forearm plank. You're going to walk your toes in, coming into dolphin pose. If you wanted to, you could take this to pincher. I am not doing pincher today. I don't think my stomach would ever forgive me. If you wanted to take it to pincher, you could. You could take some dolphin push-ups here. Or you can just hold in your dolphin. We're going to be here for five more breaths. If you came into pinch, you will come back to dolphin. Everybody will walk themselves out into a forearm plank. Lower your knees, lower your thighs. Reach your sternum through the gateway of your arms coming into your sphinx pose. Actively press the floor away. Press your pubic bone gently down into the floor. And then once again, think of reaching the sternum through the gateway of the arms. It's a really active pose. And then you're going to tuck under your toes. You're going to lift your knee, or lift your pelvis first, and then lift your knees coming into your forearm plank. Plant one palm, plant the other palm, high plank pose, shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, we're stepping up into our eagle pose. Cross the left leg over the right. Swing the right arm underneath. Inhale here in your eagle. And then as you exhale, unravel yourself into your warrior three. Take a nice deep inhale. Bend both knees. Shiva squat. And then as you exhale, warrior three. As you inhale, you're going to unravel yourself into your full warrior three. Reach your arms forward. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring your right knee into, sorry, your left knee in towards your chest, single leg mountain. As you inhale, reach the arms forward, coming into your warrior three. 
And then as you exhale, come up single leg mountain. Maybe you're extending that left leg out in front of you. We're going to do three more and then we're going to add another pistol squat just for funsies. Last one here. You'll extend that left leg out in front of you. You can absolutely stay here. Otherwise, another chance to get into pistol squat. We're not coming all the way down onto our hips. You're going to stick it at the bottom and then see if you can power all the way back up. Inhale, come into your warrior three. As you exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, come into a spirit hop and then take it through a vinyasa. Inhale, the left leg finds the sky. Exhale, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge. As you exhale, step up into your eagle pose, right leg over left. Inhale, left, oh, sorry, right arm under left. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, come into your warrior three. Inhale, tuck into your Shiva squat. And then as you exhale, warrior three. Inhale, unravel your arms, reach them forward. And then as you exhale, come all the way to stand. Maybe extend your right leg out in front of you. Inhale, come into your warrior three. Exhale, single leg Tadasana. Three more. We're coming into our final pistol squat. So take whichever variation you want. Remember, we're coming down to the bottom. Stick the landing and then see if you can press up through your legs. Come all the way back up to standing. Inhale, come into your warrior three. As you exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, big hop of that left leg to the back of the mat. And then take it through a vinyasa. We do that one more time. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, come into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, left leg steps forward, eagle pose. Inhale, wrap the right, the left arm underneath the right. Exhale. As you inhale, come into your warrior three. Exhale. As you inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, warrior three. Unwind your arms. Take an inhale. As you exhale, single leg mountain pose. Pistol squat just one time. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it all the way back up. Inhale. Come into warrior three. As you exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale. Spirit hop to the back. And then exhale. Vinyasa it through. Inhale. Left leg finds the sky. Exhale. Step it through. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Exhale. Right leg over left. Inhale. Right arm under left. As you exhale, you'll come into your eagle arm warrior three. Inhale, Shiva squat. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, unravel your arms. Exhale, single leg mountain. As you inhale, come down into your pistol squat. As you exhale, ooh, come all the way back up. As you inhale, warrior three. Exhale, hands find the floor. Inhale, big spirit hop to the back of the mat. And then as you exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Take a couple of breaths in your downward dog. And then we're going to make our way back into our plank pose. We're going to take our little dynamic plank. So you'll come down right forearm, left forearm, right palm, left palm, left forearm, right forearm, left palm, right palm. And keep going like this, nice, slow, steady rhythm. Try and keep your hips nice and steady. So five more with each side leading, so 10 in total.
and then you'll come back to your plank pose. You'll set your knees down, and you're going to come to stand all the way on your shins as if you're going to come into camel pose. From here, you're going to step your left leg forward. So we're in a little low lunge, half kneeling sort of position. I like hands to hips, but you can take your hands wherever you need to. Really ground down through your right shin, engage your right leg. You're going to see if you can start to hover your left leg off the mat. And this might be where you stay. If you've done my classes with me before, you might have done this. We're going to try and take that left leg back behind us into like a baby warrior three. So if you can, you want to keep that left foot pretty close to your body. So what I mean by that is don't take it in a big swing out to the side. Try and keep it nice and close to your right leg as you send it back behind you. Maybe your hands will need to come down as you send your chest forward, left leg back, baby warrior three. And then you'll bring it all the way back through. See if you can do it without setting the left toes down. They just hover above the floor like a hovering half kneeling position. And then as you exhale, you'll swing that left leg woo, back behind you coming into your baby warrior three. And then you'll bring it back forward. We're going to do three more of these. Take your time. Gonna be our last one. And then you'll float that left leg back next to the right, the left shin back next to the right. And we'll take it on the other side. So you'll step your right leg forward to start with, establish your base. And then hands to wherever you want your hands to be. You'll start to float your right leg off the mat. Keep your right foot. Ooh, this side's going to be hard. You're gonna keep your right foot as close as you can to your left as you swing it back behind you. It's not really a swing. It's kind of like a, a navigation. And then you'll bring it back forward. See if you can keep that right foot floating the whole time as you come back into that half kneeling position. Maybe it just hovers above the floor. You do four more in your own time. We'll go for one more. And then you'll flip that right shin back down next to your left. We're just going to cross over your ankles and make your way down onto your back. We're going to finish up with a little bridge and a little stretch. So you can either float your hands above your head or you can bring your hands down by your side, wherever you prefer to for your bridge. I do want you to keep your pelvis nice and even though. So if you're floating your hands and your pelvis is wobbling all over the place, your side crunching through your waist, you're better off keeping your hands down and that's okay. All right, you're gonna ground down through your left leg. You're gonna float your right leg up. So your thighs are parallel with each other and they're gonna stay that way. As you inhale, you're gonna float your right leg just as far as you can to the right without dropping your pelvis and without moving your left leg. And then you'll exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, float your right leg out to the right. And then exhale, bring it back to center. So you'll probably feel your right obliques working a lot to help you here as well. Keep your kneecap facing up towards the sky. We're going to do two more.
and then you'll set the right foot down. You'll float the left leg up. Your thighs are parallel. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you'll float your left leg out to the left. Keep your knee facing up. Don't drop your pelvis. And then as you exhale, you'll float it back to center. Inhale, drift it out to the left. And then exhale, bring it back to center. We'll do four more here. You'll set that left foot down. You're going to come up onto your left tippy toes, and then you're going to float your right leg up. So thighs are parallel again. Keep your thighs parallel. Take a little check down. As you inhale, you'll drop your hips to the floor, and then as you exhale, you'll lift your hips. Inhale, drop your hips. Exhale, lift your hips. So you're keeping that heel lifted if you can, and I want you to keep your hips even. So your thighs parallel is going to tell you whether you're just dropping through that right hip and not your left hip. We do six more. And then you'll set the right foot down, come onto the ball of the right foot, float the left leg out, thighs are parallel. Inhale, tap the hips. Exhale, pick them up. Inhale, tap them down. Exhale, pick them up. Go for eight more. And then you'll bring your feet to the floor, set it down. You cross your right ankle over your left knee. You could come into a, um, a reclined pigeon here, or I like to come into a figure four bridge. Letting, if you're up in the bridge, let your knee drop down, but try and keep your hips even. If you drop your hip down, you kind of lose the stretch here. If you came up into the bridge, you lower your hips. Everybody keep your legs as they are. You're just going to let the sole of your right foot find the floor. Think of actively pressing your right knee away from your right shoulder and then drawing your right shoulder down towards the floor. If there's another twist that you prefer to take, please do it. And then you'll come back through center. We'll switch it out to the other side. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh. Coming into either your reclined pigeon or your figure four bridge. Then you'll slowly set your hips down. Let the sole of the left foot find the floor. Actively press your left knee away from your left shoulder and then draw your left shoulder down towards the mat. And then you bring it back through center, draw the knees in towards the chest, reach for the outside edges of the feet, coming into your happy baby pose. And then when you're ready, hugging your knees in towards your chest, finding any other movements or positions you need to. Otherwise, make yourself into a tiny little ball. Take a nice deep inhale. And then a big open mouth exhale. Let it go. Shavasana. As always, please feel free to take as long as what serves you here. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you have an amazing day going forward. Until next time, namaste.